Hey, the Norman Fat Boy is probably one of the most versatile square bills on the market today. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly why. Early spring through post spawn, and then again in the fall, that's prime time for this bait. Okay, so as I'm coming to this blowdown, I'm, I'm looking at the angle the blowdown lays in the water, and I'm looking at the angle that the branches come off the blowdown. There's going to be a couple high percentage areas, one where the trunk meets the water, the other one, the first major split in the tree. But the whole key is you want to cast the same direction that the branches are going because the bait will walk over, through, bounce into, and come around those branches. That's what gets you the bite. The other key feature is to understand where the bite comes in the blowdowns. It's either going to be at where the trunk meets the water, the first Y, or out at the ends of the branches. Okay, so now when you're fishing the fat boy around rock, the whole key is you have to remember the bass are going to be where the rock meets the water. So when you make your cast, you want to literally cast it right up against the rock, right where it meets the water. Now the trick is you want to be at a 45 degree angle to almost parallel when you're fishing rock banks because now you're going to be in the strike zone longer. If you're fishing a solid riprap wall, you absolutely want to be parallel to it because that strike window is where the rock meets the water to just below the surface. The bass will stay off of that stuff and ambush the bait fish and run them right into the rocks to feed on them. So if you're too far away, you're outside the fish and you're probably not going to get a bite. It's really simple to fish. The retrieves are cast, stop and pause, or a slow steady retrieve letting it bounce off of each rock individually or burn it. The bass will let you know what they want. Okay, so here's a really good tip. When you're fishing these straight man-made walls, be it concrete or riprap, don't bomb a cast down the wall because if you catch a bass all the way at the end of your cast, you're gonna drag them over fish you might otherwise have caught. So make shorter casts, more accurate casts, right to the edge. This way you're not spooking fish when you catch one. One of my favorite ways to fish the Norman Fat Boy is in the grass. Yeah, I said grass. This bait will come through the grass. Two things I like to do. I like to look at the grass and pick my lane and I'll cast the lure and actually walk it around open areas in the grass. When I come in contact with the grass, I'll do a quick snap and pause and the lure comes right through it. It's a very effective way to get bites. Another amazing thing about the Fat Boy is you could literally push it right through a big clump of grass and you'd be surprised how weedless it comes through it. Hey, these are all the positive attributes of the Norman Fat Boy and the main reason why no angler's arsenal should be without one. You can pick up your favorite colors today on LureNet.com.